What's up everybody? We're here in the insanely cold state of Connecticut, here to test drive my first project car, the C4 S4, also known as the Ur S4. It has been in the hands of my brother for the last few years. Um, it's five cylinder turbo goodness, and uh, we're just gonna check it out, see how it's running. And uh, at the end of the video, I'm kinda gonna fill you guys in on where it might end up. Um, so stay tuned for that. For now, let's take this thing out. All right, so as you can see, this thing starts like a champ. It's got 200,105 miles on it. Um, this thing's a tank. So as I said before, this is pretty much the first car that I started to tinker with seriously after college. So that pretty much consisted of building this thing from the ground up, uh, starting with mostly the engine. So if you guys don't know, this is a AAN, which is a 2.2 liter inline five turbo. Out of the factory, it's good for, if I remember correctly, around 230 horsepower or so. It's a pretty quick car stock. However, like I said in my B5S4 video, I was kind of competing with my brother who just finished his stage three build. So this thing has been extensively modified in terms of engine work. It's got a completely custom tubular manifold, a GT3071R turbo, full three inch exhaust, downpipe and everything. of driveline it's got pretty much solid mounts for the engine transmission so it's a pretty stiff ride it's got a Kony custom cold coilovers so basically we built these uh, coilovers from the ground up with uh, my friends at Solo Motorsports but it's an extremely stiff ride which is surprising just because it looks like a pretty much a luxury German sedan um, so the, the ride is a little bit brutal but uh, it gets around. In terms of braking, it's got some really sexy Porsche 993 turbo calipers. So it's got some pretty serious braking power. As for wheels, we're running 18 by 9 RPF ones, which is uh, pretty rare to see on a European car just because they don't often make 5 by 112 fitment wheels. So it's pretty cool to see that on here. In terms of interior, it's beautiful. It's got a huge dash, all the gauges you can want. OEM carbon fiber trim, which is sweet, and it has the blue uh, fibers inside. However, all of that is overshadowed by the sound. Listen to this thing. Thing was just packed from the factory with V12 
features. We've got a sunroof, uh, the stock front seats were heated, the rear seats are heated, fully automatic climate control. It has a microphone right here um, to use the car phone, which I actually removed, but it was pretty hilarious seeing one of those things in this day and age. The handling, honestly, is very, very nice. So it's just packed with technology and performance and as well as all the creature comforts you could ever imagine. So uh, it's really cool in that aspect. And it's a cool piece of history. You know, it's got that rally heritage in a luxury car. Um, you don't see these every day. So I get a ton of people asking about it. What is it? No one knows what it is. So it's always cool to have a car where people approach you and have no idea what it is and just want to learn more. So it's a, it's a great conversation starter. And then when you press that go pedal, you got that five cylinder turbo, which is personally one of my favorite sounding motors. It's hard to beat that. So as I said before, that was pretty much my first car that I built. I didn't have a ton of money while building it, so uh, there's some things now that I would definitely change and improve upon. You know, it's got Bosch 440cc injectors, which are terrible for idle in terms of spray pattern and hard throttle, so definitely want something more modern. It's still running the factory Motronic ECU, so uh, I would definitely throw in a them standalone, just uh, convert it to speed density. And then last but not least, I would definitely change the suspension. I uh, need something a little bit more forgiving in my opinion. But all in all, it's a great package and drives really well. From a standstill, this thing leaves hard. You just feel the whole car squat. And uh, for a heavy car, it just gets off the line extremely quick.
All right, well, we're back from the drive and the car feels great. It's smooth, pulls hard still, and I think with a little bit of work, it'll just be a, an amazing car. In terms of the future of this car, so my brother's kind of over it. Um, he's gonna transfer it back to me and assuming I could find the space and uh, logistics of getting this thing back to Atlanta, that's where it's gonna end up. And I think it'll be a great car to build alongside the B5S4, uh, just to instill the competition that we had before and uh, just see the pass that these two very different Audis will take. Um, and I think it'll be fun. So stay tuned for that. Catch you guys next time. Peace out.